So this video might upset a lot of you, and I sat here roughly two years ago making a similar video, but I'm just going to come clean now and tell you guys how I actually feel. Now, if you've made it this far without already angrily typing a hateful comment or whatever, congratulations, you are part of the... I guess small minority now that doesn't just look at the headline in the first couple seconds or first couple words of an article and then gets absolutely enraged by it. So please refrain from commenting with anything positive on this video because this is going to be an experiment to prove my point that I made not so well a couple years ago um, and just to kind of express my disdain and my, my, my um, uh, frustration with how clickbaity the society has become and how people just don't like take a step back and relax about anything. It's not just like this. I mean, obviously the title of this video is going to just immediately get the clicks and get people to be like, what the fuck? And just flip shit. And I'm totally expecting that. I want you to watch the comments as well and all the vitriol. Do not comment again. Don't. This is an experiment. It's an experiment that was brought up and suggested on my Discord server by one of my patrons. Um... And I think it's a really good idea, and a couple other people were like, yeah, that would be funny as hell. So I'm just going to sit here and ramble a little bit. I'll give you some actual thoughts about this whole thing and, like, my opinion on, you know, Joe Biden and what, the whole gun thing with the history of that. I'm just going to ramble so it looks like I'm actually going to be talking about, like, trying to defend my position of why I support Joe Biden and you should do as a gun owner. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. I hope you're enjoying a laugh with me. Um, Once in a while, I kind of get, I kind of get, you know, pissed off at just the craziness that is the world and especially with like online culture and especially with other like YouTubers, right? I try to refrain from doing clickbaity shit, right? Um, I've done it a couple times as a joke to make fun of that and satirize that and it doesn't work as well, but I'm not really one to like spread fear. It's a lot, it's a lot fucking harder to get people to fight together than it is to get them to fear together. It's a lot harder. It's really easy to get people to fear together and that's what's going on nowadays. And you know, People won't even care to watch. A lot of people will not care to even watch this entire video and understand that, no, I don't support Joe Biden at all. I think the administration's a joke. I always have. I didn't vote for him. But if people will accuse me in the comments, guaranteed, watch this. Again, I'm just going to ramble for about maybe nine, ten minutes just to make it look like I'm actually doing that to the people that are going to be like looking at the headline, the thumbnail, and the, the timestamp. Be like, okay. And then they're not going to watch. They're, they're not going to want to watch ten minutes. That's another kind of a reason I'm going to be rambling, so bear with me here. You don't necessarily have to watch. I'm just going to sit here and gesticulate and whatever, but no, I'll get a bunch of people in here like I did last time to just automatically assume because of, you know, whatever that I support Joe Biden because of this, this, and this, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a communist and I'm a, I'm an anti uh, two way community, anti gun community. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a fat fuck. You know, you just watch in the comments. How many people do that again, please refrain. If you're going to just post something like, ha ha, that's fucking funny or ha ha, I get it. And I'm not an idiot. Don't do that for the, for the sake of this video. Um, cause I want to keep this experiment going as long as possible. So you can see the outrage mob show up and just wham, crucify me. I guarantee you this will get posted on like discord servers and shit where there's a bunch of crazies. Um, that, you know, just are every day the fear porn, just they feed off of this rage and they're so scared and they're so paranoid. Oh, oh, Joe Biden's coming for our guns. Yeah, most of the government wants to take away guns. They legally can't and they're being fought every day by people like, you know, Matt from Fudbusters and a bunch of people that are in his wheelhouse fight the shit out of the government every day. It's not just going to be like, oh, overnight guns are banned and they're going to go door-to-door -door confiscating in the entire U.S. I tried to explain that on a video. So instead of like fighting each other and like go be doing the partisan politicking bullshit uh, that, again, doesn't help anybody except the, the ones in power uh, because everybody else is fighting and they're getting away with literally murder. Um, and this is why I think that, you know, if you're one of those people that you actually... We're about to type out something that's just completely hateful and just pissed off because you're scared and therefore you get angry. You know, fear creates anger. And it's a path to the dark side and it definitely is. And I used to fall for this. So this is how I know this. I used to fall for this shit like clockwork. And then one day it was like, I don't know when the hell, well, it was just kind of a progression too of like, I'm like, why the hell am I falling for this fear porn and feeding into this rage culture where it's like, when you guys are pissed off at each other, you can't be pissed off at the actual problem. And that's, again, what I was trying to say on the videos a couple years ago. But I was still, I was reacting because I was scared that people were going to lose their goddamn minds. And they definitely did. And it accomplished absolutely nothing. 
So, you know, here we are two years later at that. There was the other video of like, um, no, Joe Biden's not going to take your guns. Literally has not, because people were saying they were going to go for 100% confiscation, no more AR-15s and all that shit. And while I know the Biden administration, the Trump administration, the Obama administration, and to an extent the Bush administration, and everybody basically, including your, your boy Ronald Reagan, all you boomer worshippers out there, or Reagan worshippers, he, Ronald Reagan did a lot against firearms. So you, it's not just, oh, Biden's going to take our guns, Obama, you know, and all the Republicans are on your side. No, 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 no. Donald Trump's administration got a bunch of shit, you know, import restrictions and never cleared anything from previous administrations. Blah, blah, blah. So don't think that the partisan politic game, don't think anybody in politics is on your side. It's not Republicans good, Democrats bad, blah, blah, blah. They're all bad. And they none of them want you to have guns. And it's a pandering tool, right? So the right, or I'm sorry, the left will use um, abortion rights. Like, you know, everybody lost their mind with Roe v. Wade, right? And they didn't actually understand what the decision stated or what, what the results were going to be. They just automatically blanket statement at everybody that abortion is now illegal in the U.S. And there's so many people that believe that, just like there's so many people that, because the, the right uses the whole, they're going to take your guns. Every... Every fucking time a Democrat gets into power anywhere, or the they have the House and the Senate, and or, or there's some uh, Supreme Court justices that are more left leaning, and the court's not you know more conservative. The Republicans or the right and general conservatives will use that to whip people up into a goddamn frenzy and fighting each other because they're so terrified that their guns are going to get taken away. Um, it's it's really sad to me that people can't be more level headed and honestly work together instead of working against each other and just don't assume don't assume that somebody's your enemy just because they might have one or two different opinions than you and also try to fucking relax try to take a step back if you see something that's titled like this if i saw something that was titled like this i'd be like oh boy this is going to be spicy in the comment section because you know and i would encourage you if you're one of those people that start off writing a really shitty comment and then you're like oh okay it's not what i thought it was take a look at that and know that, hey, I've been there too, and so have a lot of other people that are going to be like, oh, this is this is a cool idea. Don't comment or form an opinion on something unless you've actually read through the bullshit. Don't just look at the title in the first five seconds, or you know, a couple seconds or a minute, or the first paragraph or so of an article that somebody shares. Because that's what people do, and that's how actual misinformation gets spread. Because it's a, it's a lie by structure. What they do is... In videos and shit, and mainly in articles that people share out, they'll, it's basically all an opinion piece, and they'll use anything and they'll twist it to the point where it's like, not technically a blatant lie, but it's really worded in a way that's going to convince you that their point or what they're talking about is correct. When nine times out of ten, the actual facts are at the bottom, but here's the thing, is the Americans don't have the attention span, or so they think, or the wherewithal to pull themselves together and actually read the entire thing and realize, okay, most of this is just some idiot's opinion who's getting paid to word things like this to get people whipped up into a frenzy and then the facts are down at the bottom. That's kind of like a video too, like a um, YouTube video. People are going to watch the first 10 seconds. They're going to be like, oh my God, this fucking liberal ass piece of shit supports, you know, Biden because of this. Now nah, I know it's kind of, a, it is a clickbaity title and that's what people would assume. But here's the thing is in real life, no, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. Again, like I said a couple years ago, I am a I'm an independent, and I'm very very nuanced, like most people are and should be. This whole football team partisan politics game is really getting old, and um, this will kind of be an experiment. And hopefully, also I can you know I can red pill a couple of you. I know it's it's not a political term, but I can, I can give you you know at least some hope that not all of us are insane. The world's not completely fucked, and not everybody's that always whipped up into a frenzy. Because um, it does give me hope if I see videos like this. Like, especially Matt from Fudbusters really is good at explaining. Like, he's the only one that I've ever seen in the gun tube community who doesn't grift off fear porn. And he does a really good job at presenting legal terms to the layman's terms, right? So legal speak, which is really dry, verbose, and kind of hard to understand. And he it says, this is what this is actually saying. It's not what, you know, this certain person with thick frim glasses talking about firearm stuff and it kind of a little bit chunkier than I do, I am says to whip you up and get you more get you more into that fear porn feeding frenzy so they can make more money off of the grift and I love his content and I think there needs to be more of that or more of that style so I'm going to end that here uh, if you want to get a cool you know never fire only dropped once m1 rifle shirt to piss off all the boomers at the next gun show or just out in general at the range uh, boomerandsons.com link is in the description 
Other than that, if you want to support me on Patreon, that's cool. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Five bucks a month or more gets you in, or being a YouTube channel owner for five bucks a month or more gets you into my Discord server where the idea for this video came from. And a lot of my other video ideas came from Discord. Uh, it's pretty fun in there, a lot of cool people. I have a great time. So check that out if you want to. Uh, if you want to send me like a message or something or comment on another video, you know, to kind of say what you think about this in a positive light, um, go ahead and try that out. I'll probably see it. I try to look through all my comments. Um, so yeah, just hopefully you guys understand this and hopefully this will help out at least one or two of you because I don't, I'm just sick of the whole cycle and I'm sick of watching people suffer and fight each other and be at each other's throat. So thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see how this shit show goes.